Hey everybody, just wanted to take a minute and share a few tips on pre-spawn jerkbait fishing with you. And, you know, I started jerkbait fishing back here in the Ozarks, um, back when I was in high school in the late 1970s. <clears throat> That's sort of when the technique started. Back then, you know, a lot of the anglers uh, the, around the Ozarks area here, they were taking um, the deep diving jerk baits. Back then they were just like the old uh, striper minnows, like the Rebel made the old striper minnows and they were wrapping lead wire around the hooks and they were fishing it down at Tabor Rock, um, throwing them next to cedar trees and catching these big bass um, during the pre-spawn. And for a long time, that's when, that's about when everybody thought that that was, you know, the, the extent of jerk bait fishing. They just didn't really fish it beyond that. We've learned since then that uh, fishing jerk baits is a 12 month proposition. You can catch bass on them all year long, all over the country with them. But specifically, I wanted just to, to, to give you a few tips on the pre-spawn period, which is, in my opinion, the time of the year that your odds of catching the biggest bass on a jerk bait are is during the pre-spawn. Now, the pre-spawn varies uh, based upon where you're at in the country. Like right now, we're uh, here in the Ozarks Fish in Stockton Lake. It's January, water temperature's 37 degrees. This is not pre-spawn. This is dead of the winter fishing. The pre-spawn, in my opinion, is sort of triggered when that water temperature starts rising up um, above 50 degrees. And that can be, depending upon what part of the country you're in, that, that's going to vary anywhere between January and some of the southern states. Um, on up even into you know early spring in some of the northern tier states but that the pre-spawn period that specifically I'm talking to is marked it doesn't matter where you're fishing in the country it's marked once that water temperature starts the rise above the dead of the winter temperatures daylight hours are longer water temperatures are rising like five degrees maybe sometime 10 degrees above their coldest uh, temps uh, that they're at during the year. So once this pre-spawn period has started, here in Missouri, you know, it's pretty much uh, late February, early part of March is when I consider it, when that water temperature starts to get around 50. Um, the fish start to do a couple different things, what you need to look for. There's two things that they really key in on in the highland reservoirs that is and that is rock transitions like where your steep banks turn into flatter banks and your secondary points back in the creeks and coves these are staging areas that these fish they're relating to uh, they set up on for about a three four week period prior to moving in to start spawning and obviously this time of year i'm targeting them with jerk baits and i've got three different models of jerk baits here the mega bass that i use um, First of all, I'm throwing all these jerk baits on the uh, Mega Bass Jerk Bait Special Oroshi Double X Rod. It's a four and a half power, six, six feet eleven inches long. Um, it's got a good, you know, fairly medium uh, stiff tip on it. Not stiff, but medium stiff, and a good strong butt section. And this uh, rod is set up perfectly for the jerk bait fishing during the pre-spawn. Um, you can make a long cast with it. You know, the the six foot eleven length, a little bit shorter length from the traditional seven footers that most people use allow you to get a little bit better action on the bait allows you to manipulate the bait a little bit better and it still gives you a tremendous amount of power over the fish so i'm coupling all the three jerk baits i'm going to show you up with on the mega bass uh, roshi double x jerk bait special my line size varies uh, most of the time i'm using anywhere between 10 to 12 pound test line for the most part during that time of year sometimes eight a Seaguar and Vizex line all the time on it. And depending upon the jerk bait that I'm using, is a, the line test is dependent upon. For example, if I'm using the Mega Bass uh, 110 plus two, since this bait will get down to over 12 foot deep, uh, a lot of times I'm fishing it on 12 pound test line. In particular, this bait is really good in those transition areas where you have um, the bluffy type areas transitioning to the flatter that have a fairly uh, sharp drop off. I like the 110 plus two because it'll get that bait down into that little bit steeper banks areas. And a lot of times those bass during the pre-spawn that are on those steeper banks, uh, they're still suspended. They're not really relating to the bottom. So even though that, you know, they're on a steep bank, they're still suspended. And this, the 110 plus two gets down really quick in that particular uh, type of a slope on it so that's my first choice on that now in the more traditional areas like the secondary points a lot of times what you're talking about 
is these secondary points um, are fairly flat points. They can be gravel, they can be mud, they can be sand, they can be small rock. But what you want to look for is you go back in these coves and you look for the, the sort of the subtle points. You don't want to look like a point like you're running down the lake and it's super obvious where everyone stops on it. There are these little points that maybe jut out 10 or 15 feet that uh, go out gradually into the lake and drop off. And that's when I'm using the, the 110 or the silent 110, either one, depending upon the day. I like the silent 110 if we have a bright day with not much wind. I like the traditional 110 under other conditions like that. Here again, I'm throwing it on the same setup, the jerkbait special rod. Usually on this particular setup, using an eight pound test line because I want the bait to get a little bit deeper. And when you're dealing with secondary point pre-spawn fish, you've got two different types of fish that use this particular cover. You've got the fish that are cruising out there still, chasing shad, and these little two and three, fi two and three fish wolf packs. And then you also have fish that you're pulling off the bottom in that six to 10 foot zone. So you're really targeting both of that on the secondary points. Now, these are two baits here, the 110 plus two and the, and the 110 that works really good in the highland reservoirs. Uh, any place you got rocky banks, now, if you're talking about a pre-spawn bite in the, the southern type lakes or lakes that don't have a lot of rocky cover, uh, and this could be lakes like the Tennessee Valley River Lakes, Kentucky Lake, Chickamauga, Texas Lakes like Toledo Bend, um, even Lake Seminole in Georgia, some of the Florida lakes um, where there's grass at. The pre-spawn down there is going to be a little bit different as far as the jerkbait bite goes. <clears throat> Those fish down there, when you're dealing with sand, and, and sort of, uh, you know, the more grass oriented situation. That's when I like the little bit bigger jerk bait. I'll go to the Edo Shiner. This particular bait, it's uh, larger than the 110. You can see the, pro, uh, the similarities on it. A little bit thicker on the back, but this bait has a, a like probably 30% uh, more radical darting action to it. And this is what I like when I'm fishing over these grass beds. One of the things you want to look for is look to look for grass beds in these lakes that are next to some type of a channel, whether it be like a, the river channel or an old creek channel, um, on the flats but adjacent to deep water. And what I like to do is I get out on these flats in those grass lakes, and the same type of people that or the same type of water that people fish a vibrating lure, I'll throw the jerk bait in this particular water. Again, it's the same setup. I'm throwing it on the mega bass. Uh, Aroshi uh, jerkbait special, you know, usually 10 pound test line. And during that time of year, I'm not pausing it much. I'm fishing the bait a little bit faster. I'm wanting, you know, more of a reaction strike out of it. Um, I don't want the fish to get a real good look at it. Once that water temperature gets up above 50 degrees, doesn't matter if you're fishing in the Ozarks, doesn't matter if you're fishing up north, doesn't matter if you're fishing down south, you don't have to pause that bait as long as you do in traditional cold water jerk bait fishing like you would this time of year here in the Ozarks. So anyway, just remember that if you're fishing in those flats with a lot of grass on there, cover a lot of water, work the bait a little bit faster, don't pause it quite as much, go for that reaction strike. And if you're fishing the highland reservoirs, staying in those secondary points in those transition areas, and this is the best time of year that you have the best odds of catching a bass in that eight to 10 pound zone, regardless where you're fishing in the country during the pre-spawn with the jerk bait. Just give it a try.